Washington State 17 and Wisconsin 14. And, guys, uh, no way did I see this coming. I, I don't even think that the, uh, the play-by-play stuff, all the different features and whatnot – had any idea what to think of this one because they they couldn't you couldn't pull the play by play it was so messed up uh this was you know 17 to 14 Washington state at Scani i mean just i don't i don't know how to quantify this i don't even know what to do with this wisconsin had more yards per play they had more total yards by nearly 150 yards in the game both teams had three turnovers uh, there are people calling for Paul Chris to be fired at this point. <laughs> I'm just completely in shock at what happened here. Uh, but cheers to Washington State on this one for getting this thing done. Uh, you pull up the the CBS uh, stats and whatnot. Now Watson, uh, Nakia Watson, of course, was a former Wisconsin running back and found a way. He scored both of the touchdowns, one receiving and one running. And he was crying at the end of the game because he was just so emotionally overwhelmed because he had spent so much time at Wisconsin. I maybe I I made some predictions in the offseason. I don't know if you guys have seen them. Many Washington State fans, of course, you were willing to, or you you were totally right to be able to blast me today. Still a long season, so don't get too hype. But I I think I had Washington State going five and seven. I believe that I had Wisconsin winning this game in my preseason preview. I was so wrong on this. I, I, I thought that they were going to blow. I, I picked Wisconsin to win the game by more than the spread, which was 17 and a half. I really didn't think that Washington State could line up with Wisconsin and and just hold them. I mean, the more surprising part of this is the fact that Washington State only had 53 yards rushing, and they were able to hold Wisconsin 14 yards. There were there were weird things in this game. We talked about how weird Week 2 is, but there were some strange like interceptions that ended up being fumbles afterwards. Like somebody intercepts the ball, they run with it, they fumble the ball, the other team gets it back. Like It happened a couple times. It was, it was a weird situation, but... At, cheers to Jake Dickert and for going in and getting this thing done. Now he, it, I didn't realize this. He was actually born in Wisconsin. Uh, I believe I read that, but this, this was surprising, very surprising. And it looks like Washington state might have gotten the right guy. I mean, just, just awesome on their end uh, for doing that because they, I mean, it was awesome. Uh, three turnovers on both teams and they find a way to get the dub props to them. Props to them. It was good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Double O'Neill said a lot of teams got exposed. Yeah, Wisconsin certainly got exposed. I mean, that was that was brutal. Absolutely brutal. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.